My name is Irina Rogova and I am the Digital Resources Archivist here at Hale Library. We take materials from our special collections and digitize them to make them accessible and then also work with born digital materials. So anything that is created on your computer, uh, in, on the cloud, your email, all that sort of stuff. Um, and the purpose of digitization and working with these materials and archives in general is to make them accessible to as many people as possible. My name is Kylie Howell. I'm a junior and I'm a microbiology major. I take pictures of old pictures on the DT Versa and then I edit and crop them so they look pretty, but it's still the same effect that you would have if you were looking at them physically. I love finding all the pictures of like old K-State history and like finding pictures where it's like something that wasn't that was there now that wasn't or something that's here now that wasn't there 20 years ago or stuff that was there 30 years ago but not there now. I think it's so much fun. Actually one of my favorite photos is when they have the old conservatory. It's where Bluma is right now. It's it was right there and then they when they moved it to over the Throckmorton it kind of fell apart. So it's pretty cool getting to see it in a different location still fully functioning. My number one favorite thing is to work with our students. I think they are energetic, passionate, um, even about things that uh, I don't expect them to be energetic and passionate about. I love how um, Kylie, my current student, gets really exciting, excited about um, buildings changing on campus and being not a case stater until recently. It's really helpful for me that she knows, oh, this building's here, this building's here, because I know where Hale is and a couple other buildings, but she knows the campus really well. For me, I think it would be fun to be able to see all the K-State history. I, I'm a, I love history, I'm a history nerd. And so getting to see all of these photos is super awesome for me. But then I know a bunch of people, like some of my professors who, would, who went here and they're like, I wish I could see this building or like it was then. So then they can go on and actually see maybe how campus was when they were here as students. Moving to our new platform, which is called Islandora, will allow that discoverability to be a lot better, a lot more flexible in the way that we treat materials because we need to describe photos differently than we describe something like yearbooks or the case data because they're different mediums. Um, so moving to that platform is gonna be really great and it's also gonna allow us to really play with technology. We can take PDFs and kind of put them into software that makes them flip like a book when you're viewing them which kind of replicates that in-person archival experience, but you can do it from anywhere in the world. Um, in five years, I would love to see the lab with a ton of student employees and maybe some staff pretty much have around the clock, well, around the nine to five <laughs> um, digitization and really being able to get as many of our materials online and accessible to not just case staters, but folks across the world.